and welcome. Today I'm going to run you through the top six beginner mistakes with Amazon PPC sponsored ads. If you're getting started with Amazon PPC, then this video is exactly for you. Here, I'm going to list the six most common PPC beginner mistakes. So let's jump right into it. Number one, always trying to be the first sponsored slot. Basically, most individuals who first start using Amazon PPC believe that being in the top sponsored slot is a need for making the most money from an ad. What most people are unaware of is this is not the case. It's certainly not a bad thing to be number one, but it shouldn't be a requirement for making the most money. The reason for this is because if you set your sights on the number one slot, you may end up spending far more money than needed to get it. As a result, this would not be a lucrative keyword for you. Instead of lowering the bids, which would have been more profitable, you would negative the keyword and discard it. This is not the right move to make. So that's the number one mistake. The need to have the number one spot is not relevant at all. What matters are your ACoS and how much money you make back through your PPC. Now moving on to number two, lack of continuous testing. It's never a good idea to quit testing. PPC is an art form in which you will continue to study as you go. This implies you'll have to keep looking for new profitable keywords. One issue that isn't discussed is the reality that a profitable term today may not be profitable tomorrow. Yes, you heard that correctly. So it's not as if you find a good keyword and keep scaling it up to make more money from it. That is not the case. What works is that you have to constantly find new keywords and keep testing them through automated campaigns or monthly search volume analysis. So continuously keep testing because even if you have good keywords now, doesn't mean they're always going to be good. And that's number two on the list. Number three is giving up too early. A lot of people abandon their PPC advertising far too soon. This is one of the most common blunders people make when it comes to Amazon PPC ads. If your keywords aren't bringing in as much money as you expected, you should keep them running for a while rather than abandoning them. This is because PPC isn't a magic switch that you can just flick on and off to start making more money right away. You'd have to purchase data and analyze where and how your keywords could perform better. Only after you've put in the time and work can you expect your PPC to perform successfully. As a result, you cannot expect revenues as soon as you begin your PPC. To figure out which keywords make you the most money, you must invest money, gather data, analyze, and optimize. Only then will you be able to maximize your profits. Moving on to number four, not utilizing negative targeting appropriately. Negative product targeting is an Amazon function that prohibits your advertising from showing up when a search term matches your negative product selections and negative keywords. You may keep your adverts relevant to your visiting customers by excluding a list of brands and goods, saving money on your ACoS. Negative testing is a really valuable function and mastering it will help you identify more keywords that will benefit your Amazon advertisements rather than damage them. Moving on to number five, micromanaging your Amazon ads and not using automation. Many people spend all of their waking hours managing keywords, bids, and trying to optimize their campaigns despite the oft-repeated line, PPC optimization is an art. In reality, PPC optimization is a science. You have to measure each keyword, the previous historical performance, and optimize the bid accordingly. It's a mind-boggling, boring, and repetitive task Far too many sellers spend all of their time doing these chores. Don't do that. Just get an automated software like AI Hello Autopilot to help you work out 24 seven to optimize your bids as well as automatically harvest the right keywords. It's all about working smart, not harder. Number six, not using a PPC funnel. A PPC funnel is the last item on the list. It's a more complicated strategy, but considering how fierce the competition has become, it's become necessary. So what exactly is a PPC funnel, you may ask? Well, let me, let me let you know. Just like the name suggests, it's a technique that keeps sorting and picking out the best keywords out of a bunch of tester keywords, much like a funnel. At the top of the funnel are the tester keywords. After trying and testing the keywords in an ad, 
campaign. You bring down the profitable keywords down to a lower level pick the most profitable keywords and get them to an even lower level. You keep doing this and fewer and fewer keywords keep coming down. But as a result of this, at the bottom of the funnel, you are left with a pile of the most profitable keywords. Now with these keywords, you would be able to increase the bid and scale them up, which in turn will make you a lot more money through PPC. So this is definitely the route you should go with PPC because it will help you scale faster and bring you more money. Now, that's all there is, there is to it, guys. These are the six most common blunders you should avoid when using Amazon PPC. I hope this video has shown you where you can go wrong and, given you, and has given you options to remedy those problems so you can maximize your PPC revenues. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one.